Frindo here. This is for the puppy turtle in preparation for your response, in preparation for my response. Months ago, I made a video to you, and this is what I had to say. Well, what's more important to me, um, why I, I thought I needed to make this video um, addressing you, is that you seem to think that there is uh, fundamentally a fight going on here, that uh, atheists are going to attempt to disprove God, and then you shoot back attempting to dis disprove atheism. Um, and that's not how it works. Uh, I mean, don't think that I'm going to believe in God because you have radically proved the God that you believe in. Um, I don't care. I don't. I don't. Um, most atheists out there don't. Um, believe what you believe. You don't have anything to prove to anybody. That would include me. I say I put up a video saying God's bullshit and people who believe in him are stupid. You don't have to give me a response. You can respond with a middle finger. But if I'm going to be so crass and I'm going to be so thoughtless, the last thing that's really going to make a difference is you uh, attempting to prove that God is not bullshit or that you are not stupid. Um, you don't have anything to prove. You don't know how the Christian does. Your belief is personal. It is a matter of you. It's between you and what you claim to believe in. Now you are coming at this as if you have something to prove, to take on atheists, all atheists at any time, anywhere, by categorizing us as all beings within a certain set of arguments that you can conveniently wrap up in a bow and dismiss. You seem to misunderstand what morality is and why we're concerned about it. Let me see if I can set the record straight. I am not worried that God is going to kill me, that he is going to strike me dead, inflict me with disease, or otherwise impair progress and happiness in my life. I do not believe in God, and I do not fear such retribution. That does not mean that the belief in God as held by Christians such as yourself, cannot negatively impact my life. Just as I have some amount of fear that someday I will be on a bus, an airplane, or some other form of public transportation, and a religious extremist will set off a bomb and kill me in order to prove a point, I have some mild concern that anyone who espouses a position based on a religious text that would condone the killing of babies, the rape of women, the taking of others as slavery, and the genocide of any particular group because they found them to be enemies. That is what I find immoral. That is a position that I find disgusting. It is a position that I find dangerous. The fact that you can find any rationalization for this behavior shows you to be sociopathic. There should be no conditions under which we would condone and laugh at those who criticize the killing of children, the rape of women, the taking of slaves, and the genocide of a group. Saying that the parents had to die, therefore, the only thing that we can do to have a moral position is to kill the children as well, is to make ourselves into sociopaths. Now, Puppy Turtle, I'm washing my hands of you. I'm really only doing this video because Daranak actually sees something of worth in you that can be redeemed. And the reason I am uh, and others am making these videos is to attempt to appeal to that part of you. But I'm going to tell you here what I think of your channel at this time. You reserve the right to define who is a Christian and who isn't. This makes you no better than Iron Cross. You reserve the right to delete people's comments if you do not find them appropriate, specifically if you think that they have been strawmanning you or appealing to ridicule, then you turn around and straw man and appeal to ridicule. 
This makes you no better than shock of God. And you are willing to forward any argument, no matter how absurd, in order to back your particular interpretation of the Bible. This makes you no better than Nephilim free. So, puppy turtle, that is my response. And I wash my hands of you.